everyone. Uh, today we are going to do another addition to my Puff Candy without a freeze dryer. And today I want to do some milk duds. So what I've got here is I've got my vacuum chamber and I have set the uh, temperature to 350 degrees and it's preheated the chamber. I have a wire rack on the inside of this this right here and I'm going to set my tray that's lined with a piece of parchment paper cut out in there and we're going to put some milk duds in there now I don't go overboard on those putting those in there because they do puff up quite a bit and I don't want them to bunch up together and get stuck together so I got four of them in there I'm gonna put the lid on I'm gonna close my drain valve and we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes that'll bring the temperature of the uh, milk duds up and then we'll test it and we want about 125 135 up to 150 so in five minutes that should be there and then we'll be right back okay it's been about three minutes we are at about a hundred and let me get this in the camera 130 we are about 135 degrees so that is good enough so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the pump on and then we will uh, time lapse this and show you those expanding so here we go Okay, as you can see, they puffed up real nicely. It's been 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is turn my pump off. We'll close the, close the uh, vacuum chamber. Now if I was going to continue running, I'd just uh, open this up and leave the pump running. But for sound purposes, you don't want to listen to that pump running. So, Okay, so we've isolated the vacuum now we're going to open the drain valve and there you have it some puffed up milk duds that tray's hot. Alright, so let me reposition my camera. And there you have it. Don't those look nice? Now let me show you. You want to let these cool down. The longer you let them cool down, the uh, crispier they are. Right now, those ones that I just took out, they would be, they'd still melt in your mouth, but they become a little bit tacky while you're eating them. 
But if they've been out for several hours, they come out like this. Check this out. It just melts in your mouth like that. See that? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Those are delicious. And if you got bad teeth like me, I love milk duds, but the, they're just so chewy I can't eat them. And this is a totally different texture. Mm. But same great flavor. So, there you have it. Another easy one to use your vacuum chamber with a heating pad and uh, make yourself some delicious puffed milk duds without a freeze dryer. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.